holding that pistol to go against all of the others. He wants to bring that op out when it matters most. Check the ladder as well, and Rob's firing at him. He should presume that angle to be from the control room. But Stick has got the first shot. Now it is the man they could afford to sacrifice. That one's not. Rain going down. And these pistols doing massive damage. This could be stolen back. Sticko's got Roman. Kerrigan's gonna try and do damage on the rocks. But it's only one kill and Sunny sneaks from behind Nico. He's on one HP. He's gotten two kills and he's got two more to find. So little to work with, but so much talent. Time ticks away to 40 seconds and the bomb is also down, making his matters much worse. Thankfully, they have still just got the USBs. Again, not that it matters on one HP, but they can't spam, they can't spray away, which means he would be a certain death. He could still one-up them with his aim on the AK. He's checking every single corner right now. So much rise on this round. This was a full eco. He'll go for the reload right now. He doesn't know where they are. He might go for the fake plan here. We'll see. But look at towards Pop Dog. Rob Snows. Rob Snows, and he's got the timing perfect. If Nico had to get the bomb down, you might have had a chance on one HP, but Rob went all the way through B and wrapped back around. What an absolute nightmare. They didn't spend a single dollar there, and a team like FaZe giving up to that sort of weaponry. Yeah, we've got four players stacked up on this B site. I think Navi are about to just run rampant. Flash has primed their push. Electronic spotting bodies all around. Oh, what? Oh. Wait, no, 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 no. They didn't invest a dollar. Not a single penny. No, oh no. Oh my god, they're getting loot. Oh, there's Three only two Three USP left. kills, simple. And Bit in a two versus five, and these pistols continue to do damage. But Bit's gonna bring it back. Bit is barely alive. It's gonna need to fall onto Simple. Oh, the last bullet headshot with the oh. CZ to the op swap. 25 health, no money invested, but Rain has an AK. And while he's not sitting next to his team, they still need to lean atop him. Can he be the support? Can he be the clutch? He taps. This would be such a wild outcome. The player down straight beneath him. Bit, you need to send this to the next round. Oh and Rain looking to send him to the Shadow oh. Realm. What a stupid clutch. What a ridiculous outcome. Phase they'll take overpass. It is the key piece to this series. They start this new year with a new them. How do you win a round with zero dollars spent? So the first full and complete save from Dignitas. Two rounds against them to build up what will be after this 2400 going into their wallets. Keep in mind momentum and economy, but Happy actually elects to rotate through the arch. Yeah. He actually isn't going to have a read on this. Envy may go here. Kenny's going to flash in. We'll see if this stack actually works now because Dignitas has the position. Flash. flash from Kirby as well is going to help them. Rubino goes for the peak. It's only one, though. Two kills so far the way of Envious. And now they realize there's multiple players inside of the site, but that bomb was dropped. Rubino's got another. Still a chance for this. Crossfire set. Kirby's got the other kill. It's all down to NBK. Happy didn't get any information. It does come to the one-on-one, -on -one, though. And the AK, it no, it's Kirby picked up. Nothing purchased that round for Dignitas. Absolutely nothing. Five USPs. It's a classic MVS play. Happy lurking by himself, trying to find information. He gets taken down and gives one of the most deadly players on the planet right now, Kiabi and AK. He picks it up. The rotation comes in. And Envious just walk into the Lions down at the B side there. The full stack of the USPs and it's Kiabi to finish things off with the AK-47. Another very difficult round there for the Envious to drop. Every bit of utility is valuable. You can bleed it out. And Incendiary is worth $600, bear in mind. So we'll see Krim's now challenge first, and he knows if they're going to the pass, and there it is. Wow, he hasn't got a helmet. That was a Glock. Yeah, without the helmet, that can actually be quite deadly. So there's ah. a chance now they can get a rifle here. I'm not saying Ooh. they win the round, but another ding does <laughs> come through. Flash it down to 58. This is getting a little bit alarming. Smoke down towards shore. They could focus connector now. Let's see Olaf Meister drop. There is a bit of a gap in the smoke. Wasn't ideal, and I'm sure the Fnatic will be fine here. Yeah, where did Brolin's health go to? They haven't even got a... Oh. oh, Dreams Dash. Coldzera, however, is thrown into a two versus two. They can't get the bomb down, but they, they grab it to weapon. They have to. Oh, no, they got it down. down. I didn't see Nico. He's actually making this round a possibility. And I can't believe it. It's Coldzera and Nico on Mirage here in a two on two. This was a full eco round with Glocks, one P250, one smoke, and they actually have the advantage now with the bomb plant. Oh we'll see if Coldzera nails his first shot. He's going to be firing oh. off towards jungle. It's working out for him. Flusher now with one smoke, a diffuse kit, a two versus one he has no
seconds of They're motion as to where the last two players are. A quarter le left on the bomb. It looks like we're all done here. They've actually pulled a magical round off of just blocks only as they rush towards his position. Chad, have you ever seen anything like it? <laughs> we're seeing more and more things similar to those kind of scenes, but actually <sighs> pulling it off in that fashion, making it look like a standard 2v2 gun round scenario. We thought that was done. As soon as JW kills Rain, I'm like, yeah, okay. Boom. It's the lack of the helmet that is oh. everything. We're, still, we're talking about helmets more and more in this game now, because Chad, he stated it beautifully. You take the round slow here, yeah. you know the money's not great. If you don't have a helmet, the Glock is still a viable weapon. We pistol round, oh no, excuse me, round with pistols. You've flustered me. Only Glocks. Yeah, I, I mean, they've had some success in the past, the trialers. I just don't think the Glocks are going to be the, the thing to do it. Somehow they found Steeker, who must have had no head armor, surely. <laughs> what, what, why is it when Astralis just rushes with pistol, they always, like, catch someone off guard just not knowing what's happening? This is going to be tough, but obviously the spam is going to help out. That's beautiful from Automatic. They needed that. Device takes up the position. Now the flank coming in. Device has to get aggressive, and he gets that kill. Can he follow up on it? There's Skadoodle. Yes, he does. With the spin, Device keeping Astralis alive in this round. And even Zipnik's occupying Golden this whole time. And meanwhile, Device is eviscerating everyone else from Cloud9. <laughs> this is beyond ridiculous. I have just absolutely no idea. You should never, ever be able to win a round like this. Just an A rush with Glocks towards the bomb site. Bit of damage, but Device will take a quad kill to win the round, and I, I don't think there's much recovery from that. Like, if you lose this round in your Cloud9, you think that's it. I don't think it, it was, was on them. train, right? I feel like it was them, though. That was the train game. Yeah, it was on train. Yeah, I think that was. Was it Silgy? I no. think so. Well, then that's very relevant, then, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to do it. Okay. Well, that's a great start. They take down the B player. Oh, my oh no. Get out of here. <laughs> There's no way. We just, come on, dude. No. Shazette, this would be the are you kidding? I'm done, too. dude. That's, <laughs> that's actually insane, dude. What a way to end it. 16 to 13, CLG. Uh, to be honest, it's ironic because the chickens normally stop people opening that door. Yeah. So JW has closed the door on them. He's put the in a message to the developers. The war on the chickens has begun. Chris missing a lot of shots with the AWP there, but the USP will deal the damage that he needs it to do. And it's just a slow burn here for Fnatic. I don't really know how they found their way all the way into CT spawn with just Glocks, mind you, but it's happened and JW's collected the AWP. So oh now my God. they can actually win this round with 15 seconds to get the bomb planted. There's no one on the B site. Sunny has to stop them on the cross. Quick flashbang. Oh, is there time? Can they actually make this? Sunny's got a good off angle to prevent them from being able to do it. Crims, oh my goodness. Crims just knows. Can we just know that JW was having chickens follow him, then he gets a 3k with an AWP to finish the round that he started with a Glock. I... At least in the first map of Vertigo. Obviously here on the second map, we haven't seen the AWP even brought out quite yet. Blame F is gonna get a chance to stat pad. And he will get nothing. He will get absolutely none of them. No stats were padded today. Well, he's gonna get taken down Zipix as well as he nearly had a shooting gallery at the end of the short tunnel. Farlick, meanwhile, aware that they're gonna be approaching from both sides, gets tagged up and taken down as Automatic does come inside of the site. So an AK attained to go along with the other three. Config's actually so far ahead of Glaive, going obviously back to the A bomb site. This is all on Config. How much can he hold off these four members of EG? Now they're low on HP and they have no armor, but he's gotta hold some ground and give Glaive some time. It's all about exactly which angle as well they're going to come in from. You'd imagine they split the staircases and they're going to do exactly that. Three in front of him. Now he only gets one. Breezy able to trade. Glaive going to sneak back out toward the bank as well, though, knowing that at least some will be heading in that direction as they converge down below. He can line it up as well, but Breezy's got the shot. And that should be the rounds. That's unreal. What a round from EG. Everyone making it work and staying grouped up. Good opening kill. It's like there's an electric fence around B but a very deadly electric fence. Like, you know, normally they're not that lethal. They just kind of, it's like a bit of a shock. Oh, oh Stan with the opener. It. Yeah, it finally deals with Reggie. From main to pop. Stan don't stop. Oh, don't go into the Zeus's. Because oh. where the Zeus sleep, the men will play. Yeah. And Tarek getting the opener with the Zeus. Rebirth up against a full eco in a three oh, on five. Dear. Oh dear. Breezy can solo B with his Zeus and everyone else can pad this A site out because Stan peaked or Breezy, uh, Tarek, someone peaked up, but Tarek did peek up rather. And he, he saw that it was fully empty. 
And now they filter out A into the USB. Oh. With a tip tap tag, putting Phantom down a little bit lower. More damage with the Dink. Tarek on the AK low. Curry Ooh. gone as well. Not oh, with the Eco. No. Not with the Eco. Not flawless on the Eco as well. That would be Bruce. Surely not. Surely this is where Phantom at least gets something done. There's a double. But he needs so much what? more. And the USPs, the Zeus, they oh, do it. No. Not even fair. If they just ran out main, they would have won the round. That's the funniest part about that. Like, Yeah, tell that to Rechi. <laughs> right? he, he gave oh. it his all. I wouldn't say VP or Slouch is on this map by any means. Team Liquid obviously finding some confidence here. About to get mowed down in the underpass. You kinder active, of course. Just left to his own devices. Fallen. That was sharp. That was sharp. If they get another one, this could actually get awkward. And Buster manages to pull himself out of trouble. Stops Fordham from causing any more. Oh, Elise, I mean, he'd have dreamed of a bomb plant, but Kick actually catches some Glock. He will. He'll get it down. Yep. And Sanji's catching oh, Glock. Okay, what is okay. going on? Sanji's down. Buster's low. M4 recovered. Buster caught flack earlier. And oh, my God. Full off. Glock Eco. A full Eco. And it comes down to Jame. He's got a scout. It's the worst weapon for the job. No kit. It looks like Liquid have done it. And Naf confirms it. What is that turnaround? It all started with the loss of Yakinda. Fallen just hitting the most ridiculous drive by straight to the head. It looked, it felt like a one shot. What a round to lose right there. So uh, the fact that Elise gets this, away with this, this how, is nuts. How's he just peppered kick it down? Like kick it was so lackadaisical about the whole thing. He thought he'd throw his nade, force the fight, whip yeah. out his gun. That M4 does convert to Sanji low, and you can see there's going to be a couple of couple of smiles creeping onto the face of Liquid there. That's a morale booster yeah, and a half. That would get me fired up definitely, and well. All right, looking to see if they can isolate that AK. And if they can do so, then that would be a, a, a pretty decent pickup for them in an eco context. Mopoz has got no escape, actually, so this is actually pretty likely they'll win these fights. So at least one player will be able to get the kill shot in, and indeed, Alu lands the dome. Lotto's going to grab that weapon, go back to T-Spawn and save it, and, and now Movie Star Riders know that the beast stacks in play. Uh, not fair action kills, but oh my goodness, they've got a second one. <laughs> this is actually looking quite worrying now for the Bobby Star Riders that they don't lose any more for ends. Just keep throwing players at this A side. Uh oh. They, they are going to go for this actually. They're all heavy stacking in. Mac 10 can't spray through. You finally gets one good pick back on it. Spins oh, to no. D. I get more frags. No! no! I can't believe that. Ends. Seriously, just stole a full eco away from Mobby Star Riders. <laughs> That's a round they have no right winning. Good find from them so far. Spam through the smoke. Uber trying to distract a little bit because Relics is actually sitting inside of the smoke. He's going to pounce now. And he's going to come around the side. He actually finds one. Can he get a second one? He's got an AK in his hand. He turns around and gets a third. What a play from Relics. Can he get a fourth? He's going to go for the reload and tap the bomb. Try to pull him up. He gets the fourth one as well. Last man standing is going to be Roka coming around from truck side and roll. Oh my God, Relics. What a hero play. The ace on a USP save. What a beast. Of the game. Leashed them all. He had some close spots as three people go out to Ivy. He's trying to figure out where those shots are coming from there. Freiburg will actually take him down. Remember, this is just optic on USPs, and they actually get the first kill. Oh no. <sighs> what is this? He like straight up negated the headshot thing. Oh my god. What is going on? What, what is going on right now? How is this happening? They all have they have <gasps> USPs. They have five USPs. They and just, they just eco liquid like that. Dude, they just hit so many headshots. So stack toward cat with the exception of number cat. That's Nico, number four on the map. See, that was kind of clever actually. It's French. Snappy spots them and realizes what's going on, but can't do anything of it with that range of a Mac 10. And he'll get picked apart by pistols. Roll off the one with the final blow. Nico knows now that they're on to A, however, and they're gonna think perhaps with that stack, he's not here. That's the tag, he's not taking any chances. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, oh yes, no. he is. Good night, hello, Bob. Oh, what is that? Nico and Kerrigan both convert onto heroic Nico and it nearly falls apart. Thankfully, they still have strength in numbers. No, they don't. Rubino might give it back to them. I thought they were going to be able to turn that with a shot towards CT, and I was getting ahead of myself, but that's pretty impressive. What is this round, Matt? Why are they losing this? Wow. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. They're incredibly talented, but my god, Heroic, that is just They thought shambolic. that was a full mid-push. Mid they did not expect Nico at all.
But they just make a bit of noise and start falling back over. I think they know there's aggression on ramp, so the plan, I guess, is to catch this. It's an MP9, though, as well. Santara's gonna make one, there's two, only two. Still some money made. Searson may be a little bit vulnerable with the scout, but he does his teammates coming by to reinforce. They do manage to dodge the nade almost entirely. A bomb plant would be wonderful here. It's unlikely without smokes. Would be surprising if they were able to smoke. Okay! Good shot for Madden. More. Tabson trying to take the fight. Tabson can't escape. This is getting very expensive. Ooh, this round, way too close for comfort. If Farley gets this bomb plant off, and he will. This is a fantastic round for FPX. Certainly no way he wins this. I mean, feels like there is a bit of a way. He's getting the flank on the player ramp. They didn't hear the bomb. They're the pistol. Oh, he just spotted the leg. He just spotted the leg, but he's trying to avoid making noise. He's going to be hopping on that defuse, assuming he's on the side hallway. Keto comes back to clear. Keto's dead. What is this? A catastrophe. Tizian's just going to defuse right under his nose. And there's going to be the spam. Falling has it. A 1v2. No armor. A Glock. An upgrade to a P250. And there we go. 14 to 4. Bigs one round win. Completely isolated. And Dean, this is disaster. Just got another. But he's lost his brother. And the frag finds Hooksy down to 64 quick. Apex doesn't want to play that game. Dives out. Oh. Whoa. That's There's one plant. Flat. Yeah, this is open sight, actually. That's a plant and a gun. That's, That's a, only a Fomus. Yeah, it is only a Fomus. Nothing to be scared of here. Unless. Two kits. Nice amounts of utility. There's no one on the big flank. There is no reason to believe that G2 hang on to this bomb site. No, it'd be so unlikely. I mean, it'd be close to impossible. Put it that way. G2 are also pretty stacked. Nice utility. Excellent usage. Completely flushes them out of the market, which is where they wanted to try and hold from. And now you've just... Wait up. Oh, what? No. The double off of Monacy? There's no HP here. Zywu with the tech nine. He's got one, but up close. He's low. JKS. He's got a health advantage, time advantage. Oh. Just ring around no. to Rosie. Oh. In what world do they win this? You're kidding. That's two big gun rounds, by the way. You have Dick Stacy sneak through heaven and then Dexter sneak into the upper bomb site on key gun rounds. That could be the big difference on how this game finishes unless EG can find a way to muster up an overtime run. Well, this should be a gimme of a round for EG at the very least. The bomb has been planted downstairs in amongst the early engagements. Inns has got the drop onto Stannis. Well, what is going on here, EG? How do they keep getting around the back of you? They're coming up the woodwork. There's an AK in play, no Kevlar, he's been smoked out. So the chances of holding off this and getting the outright win are incredibly low. But the fact that he's even got a bomb plant and an AK in the hands of Inns again is absolutely insane. Any further kills would be a real detriment to the economy. Oh! They're gonna line up, Inns gets two. What is going on, Circus? Holding up the thing and he's got killed. They pulled it off for one of the worst buys and EG have been brought back down to earth with a bang. Opening kill for Apex. So far, this game for me is just sophisticated dominance from G2. As Kenny S, oh, misses a shot there, goes back in, gets absolutely oh. dominated. Two kills from Navi. I got more bodies in a very trick. No, this is not the round. This can't be it. Surely not. Guardian, if there's any time, the time is now, and he misses. 43 seconds. And it shocks on the other side. Brave and brazen, but it doesn't matter. Guardian finally delivers something. Boosts on either side of the map. Yeah, you're going to do well with the USP to find kills against the AKs. But if ever there was a chance, Rain might have given it to him. That's the spot. That that had a better chance than Parkstein. Parkstein yeah, exactly. has too much distance. I agree. Uh, but now it's a double kill for Neo. Oh, they, they have to get out. That's a good play. They heard the sound cues. That would have been a disaster for them. They might be able to win this one. They've got an AK now. They need to try and buy time if they can. Not going to happen. Nico holding the flanks. This is the chance that Breezy can somehow get a kill here. It would have been great. Not going to happen just yet, but they're isolated towards long of low HP. And Neo 23 as well. seconds. You're right. The pressure is on. This could be a full eco victory. It's getting awkward. It's getting super awkward now. Breezy. Oh! oh! Comes around behind them. And it actually worked out. I thought he would re peek from yeah, bathrooms once his teammates disrupt, but he goes around and does it all himself. Rush helping him out with the Galil. And doesn't look like much 
budging from Cloud9. They're just listening to the footsteps. They're trying to work out what Order's up to at this point. Tarek coming in from Z. Yeah, they do manage to kill Automatic and Squeaky, though. And now Tarek also going down as well. Lee, as and imagine, combining forces on the back of these USPs. Skadoodle left pretty much on his own. So they can't back out of A main due to that boost rush. Needs to be able to find Liaz. Otherwise, Liaz has so much control of the Z area at the moment. So Cloud9, they were able to walk over the B bombs. That's what we're talking about, why the USPs are dangerous. You walk into a stack. And it could be absolutely lethal as Liaz gets the better of Rush. And this is all of a sudden very, very perilous for Cloud9. Now the UMP forced to make a move on. But there it is. Order with a full eco victory over Cloud9. And they're going to be able to retrieve two AK-47s as well. That's going to be a big boost. But Liaz off to a red hot start for Order. Absolutely. AWP tags shocks on the cross. And now with nothing to fight with, this battle becomes much easier. Pop Flash comes in late. No one from Navi looking at it. Still goes down. Two immediate dinks from RPK and Zaiwu with the USPs. Boomich is going to stick around. He wants these fights. He's got him in red. And he's found the kill finally, but he's got to back away. Does not want to lose another weapon. Doesn't even want to risk it. Yeah, not worth it. And while all of that is happening, Mid has been taken by the rest of the Na'Vi team. Fighting away with pistols. Apex is not going to kill. If they win this round, Vitality, then, I mean, we've got a whole list of rounds going now that either team should have been either winning or losing. And... This is one that we could add to it. Boomich running out, he gets dinked. Oh Lord, how does he do that? RPK, accurate with the pistol. It's still a 2-1-3 and there's a minute left here. So now we can still turn this round very easily. But now look at all the rifles that have been picked up. Well, Guardian had the right idea. He went back and checked for this. He's just a second early. Simple, trying to enter in. The longer this takes, Alex does not need to commit to a fight. Just stay alive but he's got to keep their attention in this direction. There's going to be flank coming the whole way. Guardian has the bomb. He's going to have to make his way in as well. And Alex is under so much pressure. It's all on RPK, isn't it? He doesn't want to run because he didn't want to make any noise. Alex, he's been buying so much time. He can't really land the shot, but RPK will be there to save the round. It's now a one on three and RPK with a quad kill, taking down Guardian. A shocking round out of the Source Legend. 22 kills on him right now, overtaking everybody in the server. There's no doubting that once they get out. No Kevlar, they're gonna get shredded from both Hutchie and Crush that are laid in wait just outside the apps. Oh, no way. Res is making a move though, may actually Don't even kill him. Don't, no, 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 don't even kill him. Yoink. He's gonna do it. <laughs> Why not just flank this B bomb site because Access is closed here. Regardless, the knife kill is lovely for the cash, and he follows it up with a scout. Okay, I take it all back. Rez knows what he's doing. Into the B-bomb, so we go. Great shot from Get Right with the Glock. And now they're in. This is gonna be tough, but still strong, powerful weaponry. There's one over towards Get Right corner, and he's got him, and the AUG is gonna do work as well. Tony Black, one on two situation. Oh, and he's whiffed his nade. It goes from bad to worse, and there's Lecro piercing the head with the AUG. Unbelievable, five Glocks. Holy. Yeah. I like to refer to them positions to try and catch them off. Yeah. Especially the bait and switch between MSL. Cajun's gonna be under balcony to call that they're pushing through. Tries to go for the headshot, not quite there. That's gonna spot barrels immediately, but there you go. Cajun waiting below the balcony and AZ with good accuracy. Start things off dink from range as well. Cajun goes back into it with the AK-47 picked up. And it works. The passive crossfire with just USPs, no investment, has the man advantage. Sticko's tense, hesitant, down to Cajun That's yet right. again. And in oh, style, they try and push back into Dead Fox. AWP enough, but switches to the AK. AZ walks out, hits it from range. No money spent and around one. Five USPs. We were going wild before with two PT50s and three USPs in that G2 game. North go one step further. Nothing purges into the round and Hellraiser is walking to the lion's den. What amazing work that was. After getting the first pick as well, that's a five on four with nothing invested. How are you losing that round? Cajun B going berserk there with the default pistol, picks up the, the AK and punishes him after that. I don't know, I do subscribe to the, uh, the Henry G school of thought on the double ops on Cobblestone. It, is, uh, it always feels a bit sketchy. I've only really seen like one team, I feel like, make it work. That's a nice pop flash and a push through, and now actually he's got an AK-47 on Seiko. All of his teammates are essentially dead, but it's a chance to do more damage. He somehow slipped by. They don't even realize where he went. Now he's got one more and a one on two. No armor. Not a huge chance, but he's doing damage. It's very strange that they lost count of him. I mean, there was a lot of chaos going on. Seiko finding one more kill. My god, he's playing well at the moment. 
even heard that. He saw the jump, sneak over the headshot, taking down Angel. That's the quad kill, and somehow he brings it back. That's a godlike round. I wouldn't be surprised. That's two rounds in a row here for Heroic, and you don't want to you don't want Heroic getting much more momentum than this. I mean, this is Mirage after all. I see Zed though. Good stop. They can steal that AK. Still too far away from the site here to make a big difference. Give that AK over to Nico next round, see what's happening. Yeah, just already. Oh, oh, oh clever! Now they're gonna try and see if they can swing for it. They should never be caught in this round, but they're doing some damage. Next, they're coming in. There's absolutely no way. Refresh is back here, and they do not have a kit, so they're gonna have to move fast, but they've got him locked in the corner. Crouching out, he gets the one, but Nexa will take him down! There is no way! Nexa with the triple and G2! They robbed him of the round! Nico with the pop-off as well, says it all, starting to get that energy going on the side of G2. That was a hard eco, Anders! Eco for North as they do get shut down. Rush in towards the short position, and Nico's so ready for this. Out towards CT, not seeing the player drop down right in front of him. He'll still deal with Gade. Doogie rounds that corner, taps away with the Glock. Azu will be able to get the kill on MSL back towards Ram. And Snappy also goes down. Cornfig will recover the three versus three, but this could be a bomb plant coming through for the T side, and that might just about be enough at this stage. Two rifles picked up. Actually, a lot of damage done to Nico, and two AUGs on the T side. With Yugi going down, this still might be possible, but they're going to go ahead and commit to the bomb plant, so they will have at least the extra money bonus if this round goes south. It looks like it will, with AZ going down. Kiabi last man, still back behind. Oh no, oh no, the spray for two, it's a 1v1. Kiabi still with a chance of clutching this on an eco round. For Optic, this would be the biggest disaster in the world. And you just can't catch a break. Good. That's, surprising. That's a really interesting way to do that. It's a, it's a cool running flash. I wonder how, how deep it goes, though. And it's probably a little bit inconsistent, but either way, they're not actually going to go down ladder. They're going to rotate in there, but so are Mouse Sports. Yeah, they see that. I think they see the guy going back up ladder, just assume they're going to commit fully into this site. So they do have a little bit of a scrap to go through here if they want to win the round. And now, what is this? Three kills coming out from Mouse Sports. Only two more being traded back. Next, even being taken down by Chris J. It's on Gabi to clutch 1v3. He is against USPs, mind you. A nice little flick there, especially if that would have hit. Not the case right now. However, he can move forward. He heard this player picking up the rifle. He's going to be a little bit careful about it. Gets the kill, and now these last two looking for ways to lock him down. Goes out into the open. Doesn't get the full kill just yet. Repeaks to get it. Now five bullets left. He'll go for a reload here. Sunny is pushing forward, but he only has one HP. But copy can't close it out. Can't hit that bullet. So it's a big upset round for Mouse Sports to keep them in the game, and more importantly, keep big off of round 15. For Cloud9, no doubt want to be represented at the major. Wait, yeah, if, this lineup surely. I mean, they they have a lot to fight for. I was gonna say, if you want to go to the other angle of it, NIP still like proving like they, they, we've we've talked a lot. I think most of the conversation around these changes from NIP have been in the the negative direction and in terms of uh, you scratching your head a little bit with the roles and changing so much with Res going to offing a new in-game leader, Hampus no longer leading. Uh, but I, I think it's actually kind of fun to, to talk a little bit more about how this potentially can work as a roster, how these changes can be impactful, and I think number one, activating. Hampus might be the play. Oh, he's, even even while he was leading the team, he was such a crazy player. Oh no, uh, this is getting weird. The phone? Yeah, that's a straight up USP headshot to take down Exile, that was a res. And he's just giggling away down on the ramp, walking in it back. They're not gonna be able to stop the second bomb attempt, so finally it'll be planted, but a bit of a weird position here with Intess being low on health already. Hobbit, he's committed to the side. It's another straight dink res. He's hitting some shots today, and it'll be S tag to take down Hobbit. All on Inters now, and they know that he's up here. They need to get on that bomb right now. <laughs> Res will close out the round, and that's going to be a defuse. I'm so shocked. How did it happen? Yeah, that's unarmored USPs. And Cloud9 just lost lost duels and lost too many players coming into it. They could never appropriately protect the bomb as it went down.